How's it going, guys? Welcome to another episode of Jason Uninterrupted. So I'm in the rat room cleaning, and uh, I'm doing something that I normally do as I'm going through, and that is finding adoptive mothers for babies that are either runts of the litter or they're not being fed by the mother or for whatever reason they're just not gaining in size. And the nice thing about rats is they're, they're a communal animal. The mothers will take care of other babies uh, if given the opportunity. And oftentimes you may see mothers sharing um, litters and going back and forth between the babies, etc. But sometimes what happens is you have one litter that is too large for another and we have these little ones that get left behind and because they're so small and there may be more than 12 babies involved, not everybody can get access to one of mom's nipples. And then what ends up happening is what you see here, this collection of about uh, five little pinkies that I've picked up from various bins going along the way, waiting to find a decent sized litter of the same size pinkies. Now, these guys are on dirty bedding, the moms are up here on the clean bedding. We will basically take these babies, we'll mix them in there. We're gonna twist them all around to kind of get the smell from the others in there. Oh, we have a dead one in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this litter with a little bit of the bedding from where they were nesting before. We're gonna move this over to the opposing side of the water nipple. Obviously, we don't want any issues with them over top of the bedding. Now, mom will likely come and grab these babies one by one and take them away. And she will take these little adopted babies as well and she'll become a surrogate mom to them. And she will take care of them. And now they will thrive and continue to grow as opposed to getting stifled where they were, not getting enough food and unfortunately passing away. So, little tip for you guys. Just make sure that when you're doing this, you mix them together briefly with the dirty bedding to help get that scent on them so the mom kind of accepts them. She'll probably accept them anyway, but there's no need in not scenting them. And then make sure that we're keeping to approximately the same size. Um, if you put in a larger baby in here, uh, the parents may end up killing it because they may see it as a threat, or it may end up taking all the available milk and leaving one or two of these babies to not thrive. So good thing to know, but uh, also a handy little trick. So surrogate moms adopting new little pinkies that are maybe left behind and that way everybody gets to grow. The other thing you can apply this to is if you have a very large litter that's more than 12 babies and there's some other moms that have litters that are smaller than 12 babies, you may want to even those litters out. Because again, the moms only have 12 nipples, so only 12 babies can feed at a time. And one of the things that's usually practiced uh, by breeders is making sure that they only have 12 babies per litter and that way everybody's getting fed at once. So. I hope that helps guys and uh, thanks for joining us. If you like this video, make sure to click the like. If you want to watch more, please subscribe, leave comments, let me know that you enjoyed it and we'll continue to make more. I've got some other videos coming that are still on the editor reel that are a little bit longer. They take a little more time to go through because I never shut the fuck up as some of you may know. So it takes me a little bit longer to edit those videos. But that being said guys, thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe and share.